What's going on guys? So uh, today I want to do a quick video talking about front flippers. All right, this is one of the knives from the recent Battle Box. This is from Real Steel. This is called the Metamorph. And this has a front flipper, all right, which was very new to me. I've seen these before, but I've never really handled one or carried one. So I wasn't used to using them. Um, in the background here, I have some uh, Best Techs, which I'm gonna start carrying soon. I actually got these a while back. Uh, when they first came out, I shouldn't say a while, it wasn't that long ago, but I've been sitting on them for a while. I'm gonna start EDCing them. Not sure which color I'm gonna pick. Um, eventually I might do a giveaway for one of these, but, uh, but yeah, awesome knives, just a new flipper, just a common frame lock flipper. This is what a lot of us are used to now. This is where the market has gone tons and tons of flippers, right? If you're new to knives, the flipper is this piece of metal sticking out, which is part of the tang, part of the blade, right? You basically just push down on it and it throws that blade out, right? It's very cool. When flippers first hit the scene, it was like, wow. It's like having an automatic knife, but there's no button, right? It's totally legal. It's super slick. It's super fast. It's easier for a lot of people to use, even than like thumb studs and opening holes and such. Flippers took the market by storm. I mean, it's ridiculous how many flippers there are. Pretty much every company came out with flippers. I remember at some point when Benchmade, I forget the name of the model. I like a picture, but I forget the name. When they came out with their first flipper model, you know, it's like Benchmade was behind the times. Everyone had a flipper. So like, okay, we have to start making flippers too. It's popular, it's what people want. But yeah, so every company has their own flipper, or at least most of the companies. Um, but this is like a new concept to me, not super new, but definitely newer than a regular flipper. And that's the front flipper. So how this works is instead of poking down here, you can see the blade extends up top. You can see the jimping on there. And what you're supposed to do is use your thumb and kind of sweep back. The problem with this inherently is that if the blade is, you know, anywhere in contact with your hands, you got to stop it. Okay. So in other words, you have to kind of like angle this outwards, which I mean, it's a quick learning curve. It's not that difficult, but I still am not super comfortable with using something like this. When I first got it, I was doing a lot of this where I was opening it or trying to flick it open and it was hitting the fat of my hand. Yeah, of course I have fatter hands than some people. Uh, but even if you have a skinny hand, you might tend to do something like that where it's going to hit you. You have to kind of angle this out. I use a pocket clip as a guide to kind of hold tip my fingers. Put it on an outward angle so there's nothing in the way of that path. And then just give it a little bit of a flick with your thumb and it'll pop right open. All right. But in this case, it happens to be a liner lock. Um, it's not terribly difficult to do, but it's super awkward. Even after carrying this, EDCing it, when I go to grab it, I mean, I'm kind of used to it now just because I've been doing this for so long, but I guarantee you if I put this in a drawer, forgot about it for a month or two, and went back and randomly carried it, I would take it out <laughs> when I was first doing it was this. I just naturally am used to the flippers. I take it out of the pocket. Pfft, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. It's one of those things. Then I have to, like, it's not a quick just flick it open every single time. Sometimes I have to, like, fiddle with it and get it, you know, just right in my hand so that my fingertips are holding that pocket clip so it's out on this, like, angle. And then I can kind of flip it open. Sometimes I still do like a half flick or whatever, or don't get it completely open. It's just, it's a little frustrating. It's very, very, very cool. I plan to always have this knife because I want to put it in my, you know, unique <laughs> knife uh, mechanisms because it is, it's different. Front flippers, I don't think will last the test of time. I, I talked to a few different people about them uh, and out of those few people, only one person loves them. The other people say that it's just different. It's just something that they can't get used to. So I want your opinion in this video on front flippers. Uh, by the way, I will do a review of this knife. Uh, I have carry an EDC and stuff. I want to get a little bit more use around the house. And the knees I'm just starting to carry. So in the future, you'll probably see those best techs as well. But I want you guys to tell me what you think of front flippers. If you have a front flipper, let me know what model it is. Because there is a handful of them out there. It's not, they're not super rare, but they're definitely nowhere near regular flippers as far as, uh, you know, in production right now. But yeah, tell me if you're into it, if you are into it, what's the best one? What, what company or what custom maker is making or offering a front flipper that you like? Um, it's just different. It's not horrible. It's not awesome. It's just like somewhere in between. I'm kind of tossed on it. I love innovation. I think it's very cool that people are coming up with new things all the time. It's very difficult, extremely difficult uh, to just come up with a new design. So anyway, just uh, looking for some feedback. I mean, do you guys like the front flippers? Is this the wave of the future? Am I gonna see, you know, thousands more uh, come out because everyone wants them? Is there a demand for front flippers? Like I said, it is new, it's different. 
And different is cool, but not every design lasts the test of time. Uh, I much prefer a standard flipper. Uh, and in the beginning, I wasn't really for flippers. You know, I, I, my preferences do change over the years. I've always been a thumb stud guy. I just love a good thumb stud. Um, second to that, maybe an opening hole. I do like flippers and I do see their usefulness. I do see, you know, that they're being made by pretty much every company and people are loving them. It's a great idea. The front flipper is just a derivative of that. It's an alteration to that, but I don't think it's nearly as easy to use. So it's not as friendly. And obviously if it's not easy to use your knife, people are going to tend to not carry them. Um, so let me know again, if you do own a front flipper, especially if you EDC it, have you gotten used to it? How long did it take you, you know, to get used to that? Do you not carry it? Did you try that and say, nah, not for me? Because for me, it's kind of like, yeah, it's cool and I'm starting to get used to it, but it's really not for me. I'm not going to grab a front flipper, you know, on purpose. Uh, if there are different companies that are offering them, I'll certainly try them, but it just doesn't seem like something that I personally like. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Take care, guys.